Hi friends, welcome back to Mule 4 series of learning videos. I am Shiva Tankamani, an Integration Technical Architect. In this short video, we are going to see how to convert the current timestamp into the record time zone format. So sometimes you might need uh, the requirement to convert the date into the specific time zone uh, because uh, uh, there may be cutoff time beyond which uh, there will be some penalty. Uh, so uh, in that situation, um, you want to put the penalty only if the, the person in the specific time zone exceeds the timestamp. So you have to be very careful in uh, this kind of uh, 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 time bound activity uh, so that uh, you need to stick to the time zone where the users are logging in. So let's uh, get started. So to demonstrate, uh, I have created a, a simple uh, Mule 4 flow and with the HTTP listener and the uh, data view. Let's get into the data view. I have already created uh, the data view. We can just go through it. It's, it's uh, very simple. And uh, uh, you can see here I'm using now uh, to get the current timestamp. So I have three fields uh, included to demonstrate how it works. So the one is uh, the uh, uh, current time, current timestamp um, access. And then we are converting into the required time zone. So we have uh, uh, format now and uh, the time zone uh, formatter we are operator we are using greater than greater than and then we have to specify the uh, time zone name. So I have uh, uh, now we are in uh, Chicago uh, time step and we are converting to uh, Pacific standard time. So which must be uh, two hours less than the Chicago time. So let's uh, uh, preview this and uh, you can see here uh, a current timestamp is uh, CDT uh, it's, it's a central standard time but uh, since we are in the daylight saving mode it uh, says uh, CDT otherwise it will be CST and uh, so I am just uh, uh, indicating in which timestamp it is sometimes it will be very useful to uh, determine the uh, cutoff time uh, based on the uh, time zone maybe if required you can make use of this and time in current time zone I am printing now as is in the format so in order to format uh, uh, we have the uh, format date time function created it's very simple so local time it belongs to date time uh, type and we are formatting into the string format with the yyy mmdd uh, hour minute second and uh, millisecond and uh, <clears throat> so in order to get the current time zone we are using a java class you can see here uh, it's a simple uh, java class where we have used a java util time zone class which is predefined it's available in java.util package so uh, you can get the current time zone uh, which is uh, time zone dot get default and uh, uh, you need to uh, get the display name if you if you simply use without these uh, argument it gets the longer uh, uh, time zone like it says uh, uh, central uh, time so um, but in order to get this abbreviation like CDT we have to use this uh, uh, zero and in order to indicate whether it's uh, a daylight we are saying true <coughs> so it's a very simple uh, Java class that uh, uh, gives this uh, current time zone uh, in the format of string so we are using it inside the data view so uh, altogether it's simple so we are giving current time stamp uh, and uh, uh, this current time zone uh, is uh, fetched by using this uh, uh, java because data view has the facility to use java directly uh, to invoke the method method inside data view and uh, if it is a static method you can give directly here instead of uh, uh, defining uh, an object so uh, this is a standard Java you put exclamation symbol and you give uh, um, a fully qualified uh, class name instead of dot you have to give colon colon that's the way it's designed and uh, the, until this it's a class and then uh, you give colon colon and the method name method name I have given here is get current time zone so that's what is used here 
So it's uh, it's very simple. The first uh, field indicates the current time zone. Second is the uh, time in the current zone. And uh, you want to convert it into a specified format, you can do it. Let's play around with this uh, instead of PST. Now the current time is uh, 11 14 pm and uh, let's convert it to IST. So in IST it's the next day it's uh, um, 6th of April uh, 9.44 am. Although it's a short video I thought it will be very useful for those who are looking for uh, time zone conversion. Hope you like it. If so, please uh, hit thumbs up and subscribe my videos. I'll soon come up with more interesting topics. Again, thanks for watching. Bye.